Engineers, make it happen! <laughs> graduate engineer on the enlarged Cotter Dam. I love working on the Cotter Dam because um, it's a really exciting project. Australia hasn't built many dams for a really long time and um, it's, it makes me really excited to be part of this project in particular, roll a compacted dam, it goes so fast, it's 24 hours a day. I get to meet so many interesting people, I get to work with really good engineers, uh, work with some dam experts from America, um, also um, it's just great. It brings together a lot of the experts in dam technology to this project. Um, I'm standing here in the Stilling Basin. The Stilling Basin is a really important part of the dam that's not the actual dam. What it is, is water will fly down the dam on this side during a big flood and then there's a bit of a slippery dip that happens here which you can see along the water stop there. And what happens is the water will fly into a swimming pool, lose all its energy and come back up. I love the hustle bustle of it, I love waking up in the morning having not come to work for 12 hours, how devastating during the night time, and come back and the dam has grown a couple more metres. It also makes me really excited to know that for the rest of my life I can come to Canberra and turn the tap on and see water come out and go, oh hello, thanks Winnie, <laughs> that was great when I was 25. <laughs> October 2011 and currently the ICC wall is at 18 metres. The Stilling Basin wall is about halfway on both sides. Um, we're in stage one of the anchors of the Stilling Basin. Uh, the pipe bench is near completion. Um, we're just about to start the outlet work, so the rest of the pipe to Canberra. Uh, the intake tower is on lift 12. We'll be pouring lift 13 on Wednesday. Um, and they're having a meeting as we speak of how we're going to put all those pipes inside the intake tower so that behind the intake tower is a tower where we suck the water in and take the water to Canberra. So and it's giant pipes and there's about 400 staircases that go inside and all of that is happening as we speak. Engineering, certainly in Australia, um, it has got a lot of people who are bolding and nearing retirement. <laughs> and um, we are in a bit of an engineering crisis here in Australia where we just don't, we have, A, we don't have enough people going into engineering, um, but also um, there's not enough of the knowledge handover. And I love working on um, big projects where we get to meet a lot of experts because uh, the engineering world in Australia is a wealth of wisdom um, where they're looking for young people to impart that knowledge onto and there's nothing like an Eva Beaver to kind of, um, you know, have them to wrap their heads around and like, woo! It's part of the reason why I'm involved with the Australian Water Association and Engineers Australia. They're full of older people uh, with lots of knowledge and nowhere to put it. And, um, and this project um, in particular is something that, you know, gets everybody's feelers up. Um, and they all come out and have a look and I'm really glad to be um, able to take a lot of different people around on the dam. 